Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm still working on organizing the room and putting stuff away and sorting through stuff and all that stuff, but uh, hopefully in the next few weeks here, I'm hoping by the beginning of July I will kind of have the room all sorted out and then maybe I'll do a room tour or something to kind of show you my setup. Because um, these will probably be changed spots or especially all the stuff in front of me that you can't see. And So yeah, because I still got just everything just kind of thrown on shelves right now and Everything's everywhere, all unorganized. Well, that shelf's pretty organized, but besides that one. Anywho, unboxing for Jurassic Park 5 Movie Collection. You got the 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital. Um, I wasn't gonna buy this, um, but then I seen it on a pretty good sale. Um, even with the sale, I was kind of a little, little hesitant, just because I've heard the 4K for the first Jurassic Park is not the best. Um... From my research, the second one seems to be pretty good. Third one is um, not as good, but that seems to be just more because of the movie itself. Isn't very, um, doesn't lend itself well to 4K. Um, just in terms of, because the movie, I guess, is just, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know all the technical terms. Um, but yeah, and then Jurassic World apparently looks really good, which I haven't seen that movie since it, like, came out. Um... Or, actually, the last time I watched it was whenever I got the Blu-ray Jurassic World set. I should have got that down so I could compare and show you the, the Blu-ray set. Um, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which I have not seen yet. But I decided to just get it. And you get the Blu-rays in here as well. Um, so, yeah. it was. I think I got it on Amazon. It was on sale for $27. So, not a bad deal. Um, another reason why I wasn't going to get it is because the new one just came out. And this is the five movie collection, so they'll probably do a six movie collection right after this, but whatever. Anyway, let's just crack into it. I've been rambling too long. Um, I've been wanting to rewatch these, um, but I'm gonna, I'm waiting to watch them, uh, with my fiance, and then we're, if we can watch them all in time, jeez, if I can get this open, we're gonna go see the new one in theaters, even though I heard it's not that great, but, and like I said, I still haven't seen Fallen Kingdom. I was waiting to watch it with her, so we can... Um, and I haven't seen Jurassic World, I've seen it like once when it came out, so. Alright. This is, I like, I like this, it's kind of embossed on the front here. So let's take these out. Pretty much nothing too much, or not too much in the middle. So we have, let's take a look at the Blu-ray first, which I'm sure is just going to be the discs. Here, if anyone wants to read that. I don't know how well this lighting is. Yeah, I figured it's, this has the 3D in it. I can't remember if it said 3D on here. So the first Jurassic Park is 3D, right? I guess it doesn't have the 3D. Maybe the 4K has 3D on it. Or do they even make 4K 3D? Oh yeah, because I think Alita Battle Angels. That might just be the Blu-ray though. Yep, anyways, you got all the Jurassic Parks in there. Pretty simple. Um, so let's take a look at the 4K. I'm assuming it's going to be the same. Let me just take out this code. So we have Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. These do actually have artwork on the discs, which I quite like. Um, I'll just go through them again so you can see. So yeah. Let me put the code back in there. And that, that was also another reason... Why I kind of I, I kind of uh, decided to get it is because it was twenty seven bucks and you get them all digitally, which I don't own any of them digitally, um, which is kind of nice. I do I do watch digital movies, um, so because we have like so many like rooms and TVs in the house, and so just like kind of nice to yeah. Because usually the movie collection is I think most of my movie collection is in this room with like kind of the big TV and like the so you know when we sit down and have like a movie night or whatever we usually watch one of the blu-rays or whatever or if it's something new on streaming we don't have it but for just like in the living room or whatever usually just stream most things uh, so yeah anywho so yeah that's gonna do it for this one let me know if any of you guys have seen the 4k's of this if they're if they're any good or not um, I just heard the first one, the CGI doesn't mesh well with the new 4K transfer, I'm not entirely sure. Then again, I haven't seen any of these movies in, in many years. I used to watch the first three a lot as a kid, um, so I'm, I'm mostly familiar with those, but the two newer ones I, I have, well I haven't seen Fallen Kingdom at all in Dress World, I think I've seen them once, maybe twice. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.